All right. What's up, everybody? Uh, May 7th, we have some special guests tonight. Uh, my name is Brian Rhodes, and we have Billy Womack on, and we have Kathy Roberts on. So to start this off, I'm going to play a short two-minute video about Switch Community. So you guys can have a little bit of information here. But if you are on YouTube, which everybody is, go to the YouTube channel and watch a lot on this. There's Switch courses on here, one, two, and three. You can learn detailed information about this you can learn about the non-custodial custodial side of switch you can learn about switch cell phone towers and kind of how it works and like what is a switch node so guys this is a phenomenal resource youtube with uh, connect united what's the difference between switch the company and switch the blockchain to explain this important distinction i'm going to use the analogy of a team of real estate developers one day the team discovers the perfect plot of land for their next project. They make the purchase and begin subdividing into individual lots. They invest significant time and money in planning the community, building roads, green spaces, and complete with a community swimming pool. Once the work is complete, the lots go up for sale. Buyers begin to purchase the lots and build their individual homes as the neighborhood begins to take shape. But the developer's job is still not complete. They continue to invest more time and money into marketing that will get the word out and attract more buyers. They also continue to maintain all the common areas. However, once a certain number of lots are sold, something interesting happens. A homeowners association is created. This association is made up of residents now living inside the community. These homeowners take over the responsibility of maintaining the common areas. They also begin creating and voting on proposals to better the community. They govern the regulations and have a common goal of increasing the value of their individual properties. The developers no longer have control or responsibility for maintaining the neighborhood. Other than in this story, a number of lots are reserved for them to build homes for themselves. So they still get to vote as community members. So. What does all this have to do with Switch? As you've probably figured out, the property developers represent Switch, the company. The lots represent the Switch nodes. And the Homeowners Association represents the Switch blockchain. Once the Switch blockchain is launched, it has nothing to do with Switch, the company. The Switch blockchain is run by a decentralized group of node owners, just like the neighborhood is run by a group of individual homeowners. And now you know the difference between Switch the company and Switch the blockchain. All right, so that's another video on Switch. Uh, Billy, I got me and you pinned to the top here. So guys, uh, first off- Is that Billy, Kathy on yet? Um, I don't, I don't know. There's so many people on here. I haven't been able to go through it. I, I, I'm texting her. Just one second. Let me text her. Yeah. Hey, I'm on. I'm on. I'm in the middle. Oh, there you are. With you guys. Pin her up at the top. Uh, He's make... got me up at the top, at least on mine. Uh, let me see if I can get my camera on. There you go. I added you a, a pin on here too. So, hey, Kathy, I'm Brian. Very nice to meet you. I've heard some nice great things. You. You've been on phone calls with us, not on Zooms, but Billy's called you with us. And, uh, Appreciate everything that you you do and you always answer. So it's a it's a pleasure to have you on here tonight. And I'm a, I'm gonna let Billy introduce you. I know the, what I know about you, but I I know Billy is you know I mean you guys have a long history. So uh, Billy's my sponsor. Everybody, uh, well actually my buddy Demetrius is, and then Billy introduced or Demetrius introduced me to Billy, and me and Demetrius work with Billy. So he's been a wealth of knowledge and kind of just teaching us the ropes and you know, just showing us what to do. So mentoring us in this, because he's been in the space in the blockchain space for eight years. So same company, everything. Um, the guy knows about everything there is to know about blockchain and launching different companies. So um, I'm going to pass this over to you, Billy. Thanks for being on tonight with uh, Kathy. And I'm excited to hear some more about Switch. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I feel so much better today. I think last time I saw you guys or talked to you guys, I was feeling a little under the weather. Um, coming back from Kauai, where Kathy and I got to take a little vacation. We didn't get that much sun, though, did with Kathy. It rained the whole time we were in Kauai. But uh, it was still a fun trip. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Uh, matter of fact, oh, 
see here. Uh, I was going to pull up my my switch card. I know I have it somewhere around here. Ah, I forgot. I'll find it here shortly. Anyway, so everybody welcome. look. There, there you mine. go. <laughs> hey, I'm, when you start card. talking, I'm going to find mine. I know it's over here. It could be right over here on my desk somewhere. It's I've got so much stuff on my desk. Anyway, so my name is Billy Womack. Um, I live here in Las Vegas. I'm from Tampa, Florida. Uh, as uh, Brian was telling you, I've been in the crypto space now for about eight, eight and a half years. I started making Bitcoin uh, years ago at $200 of Bitcoin. And this is what we used to make Bitcoin with. This is an S5 miner, uh, me and a guy named Wright Thurston. Actually, I, I was a guy that Wright knew. I got in business with him before I met Wright. And I flew to Reykjavik, Iceland. I started mining my first Bitcoin back when they were 200 bucks. And I remember saying back then, man, if Bitcoin ever hits $10,000, we're going to be rich. Guys, we've done okay. We've done okay. I'm still trying to catch Kathy, but we've done okay. But uh, uh, about a year and a half later, he introduced me to Wright. Uh, that was about seven and a half years ago. And uh, Wright said, listen, we're going to lock arms and we're going to build the biggest blockchain development company in the world because we want to. We, hey, Brian, mute him, please. Thank you. Uh, and so Wright locked arms with us said, hey, we're going to build the largest blockchain development company in the world because we want to make an impact. We want to change the world. We want to make sure that we're solving problems. And guys, the people that that do the, the, the best in the world, the people that make the most in the world, we don't usually talk about money. We talk about solving problems. And Kathy's going to talk a little bit about, uh, not a little bit, Kathy's going to talk a little bit about today about what Switch is doing to solve major problems in the crypto market. For this to go uh, to the masses, there, there's a lot of little things that need to be fixed, and Switch is at the forefront of doing that. Uh, and Kathy will talk a little bit about when she when she first met me. She loves to tell that story. Uh, but I, I love to tell the story right back because I was so excited to, to, to meet uh, Kathy because when I started working with Wright seven years ago, we started locking arms. We, we, we built our first blockchain. I wasn't that excited about putting money into a gaming platform because I'm not a gamer. I haven't played a video game since Donkey Kong or Tetris. And I was like, ah, I'm just not sure how this thing's going to do. And um, that was a that was a mistake, but it was also a blessing because I went ahead and threw enough money to buy eleven software nodes into that that company. Most of you guys know my story. That uh, that eleven thousand dollars I put in uh, buying these software nodes that have a responsibility every day. It's not some get rich quick. I know some of you guys have been trying to get rich slow. That hasn't worked for you. So you're jumping over here trying to figure out a way to get rich quick. But we get. We, we've we've been very fortunate to make some money, but we do it smart because we we solve problems. We're the sol uh, the problem solvers of the blockchain, um, and, and our whole business model is blockchain with a purpose. We're out here building these brands that can really make a difference in the world. And when you go and do that, that is when you're going to have the most success in the world. And so, right, calls me one day. He said, "Billy, I've got someone I need you to meet. This individual was the COO of Discover Bank." Uh, Discover Bank way back and she launched the Discover card and she was actually at Sears Roebuck. I was like, whoa, I remember shopping at Sears Roebuck way back in the day. And uh, she was so successful. She later became the CEO. She ran that thing to uh, just a, t I, I don't know the exact number. So I don't want to, I don't want to say them and mess them up, but I'll let Kathy kind of tell, tell the numbers on that. But she was wildly successful. She's highly, highly uh, known throughout the industry. Matter of fact, when you guys were on here with Tony, um, a couple about a month ago, Tony told you guys he has a ten billion dollar merchant processing company. And when he heard that Kathy was on board with us, and she came over from she came out of retirement uh, of twenty years of retirement because she saw this opportunity that we're doing, and she wanted to participate. She wanted to to show that uh, uh, you can teach old dogs new tricks. Whether she's she thinks she's too old, but. This girl is really bringing some heat and she's going to tell some of the really cool things that we're doing. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to my very, very dear friend. I call her Mama Bear because we have a long relationship now. We spent the last few years busting our butts, getting to this point to where you guys kind of get to see 
the you guys are seeing the tip of the iceberg, but you guys weren't here years ago when Kathy and I had to roll up Brad, we had to roll up our, our sleeves and we went to work and we sold million dollars in a day, $5 million of nodes in a week. I mean, we were just out there going to town, trying to get us to where we are today. And she's going to kind of tell you guys what we kind of went through, what her vision is and where, where Switch is going to in the future. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Kathy Robert. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Uh, Billy uh, has is great at introductions, and so I'm going to have him follow me around and talk me up. It makes me feel better when Billy introduces me. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to take a, just a few minutes. Billy asked me to tell you a little bit more about my history, and then I'll transition to why I did come out of retirement for this particular uh, project, but I do find it so exciting to be able to talk to groups like you and to hear from you also. I know we've got over, I think over a hundred people on, uh, just, can I take one minute? I'd like to hear where everybody's from. Shout it out as fast as hard as you can. Who's on or, or, it? Or, 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 put, or, or put it in the chat box. There, Is there a chat box? Put, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's... Chat box. Everybody oh, just type it Australia. in the chat box. Oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Missouri. Ah, okay, Atlanta, New Vegas, Nevada, Dominican Republic, Pennsylvania, Orange, Texas, Denver, Colorado, oh, Wyoming, Colorado. Colorado. wow, <laughs> Seattle, Washington, Birmingham, Massachusetts, Seattle. Miami, Miami Florida. Florida, Show Me State, Vermont, okay, great, Can Georgia, Ontario, Tampa, Canada. Florida, I oh, Mexico, Sarasota, Florida, oh, great. I heard, uh, I, I heard a I Tampa in there, my hometown. Tampa, Tampa. Okay, I heard somebody say Seattle. Uh, I I did grow up in Tacoma, Washington, and wow. uh, it Tacoma is uh, now called a little bit uh, of a rough spot in the road. I think they call it Tacompton. And uh, sometimes uh, in the early days, they I would always just say I'm from Seattle because nobody had ever heard from about Tacoma until they named the airport SeaTac. Um, but uh, it was a little bit uh, like Nazareth. They wondered if anything good could come out of there. But it's the Pacific Northwest is a lovely, lovely place. And so I am a West Coaster. I'm in Santa Fe, New Mexico tonight. Most of the time I'm here. Yesterday I was in Salt Lake area. And then next week or I'll be in Amsterdam. All of this uh, basically brought me to give. I got an echo there. I don't know where it's going. I got a there. I don't know where. Okay. Uh, most of this so that I can give my message uh, about what Switch is doing. And now there's a broader story to this, and uh, there are others in this ecosystem. But initially, uh, when I was contacted, the desire was to put a debit card at the end of the stream of an exchange. And when I was contacted for that project, I had been retired for a little while. Uh, I always tell people I could run a $54 billion portfolio at Discover Bank, but I adopted a child when I was a little bit older than most people would adopt a child. And I couldn't handle a two-year-old. So I, I could do a lot of other things, but I thought this is no way to raise a baby. The nannies were raising him. And I uh, got the blessing from Discover Card to retire a little bit early. Uh, one of the things they did for me, because I had spent 34 years in their system, by that time uh, it was owned by Morgan Stanley. So there was a lot of time at Morgan Stanley. Uh, I was running the bank in Delaware and um, I had matriculated at the time from Sears Roebuck and Company and that's who started Discover. Most people don't know that or remember that. Some of you are probably too young to even know when that was started. But at the time that we started uh, Discover Card, I got to tell you, it was not a field day. Now, granted, we had a Deep Pockets benefactor, and that Deep Pockets benefactor was Sears, Roebuck, and Company. And one of the things that people did not know is they were probably about the third largest lender in the United States. So there was a think tank that said, what is it that we already do well that we could do again? And credit was one of them. In fact, credit was making more than the retailer at that time. And so they went to Visa and MasterCard 
into what was then an association and asked them if they could issue a Visa or MasterCard. And I can remember when my store manager told me that that's what we were going to do. Visa and MasterCard turned Sears down. They were afraid of the 900 and some odd locations they had across the United States that they would actually turn them into a bank and that they would run everyone else out of the business. So the guys at Sears went down to the middle of Delaware, bought a bank called Greenwood Trust, and then just got a non-bank charter and started the Discover card. So I've carried this card for a very long time. And the other unique thing about it was it was the first card to have a cashback bonus. At that time, there were lots of things going on, but no one thought you needed a new credit card. It had been 23 years since the last credit card was launched and nobody thought you needed another card and everyone thought the cashback bonus was something that was silly. In fact, in the um, Wall Street Journal, one of the reports was Sears is selling dollars for 99 cents. What a stupid thing to do. Uh, you know, you'll never make it. Obviously, we'd already looked at all of the numbers and knew that a cashback bonus could succeed so much that groups like you and groups of customers would go from merchant to merchant saying, hey, I'd like to use my Discover card because I get a cashback bonus. Now, years later, somebody tell me what's the most uh, copied feature of a card is some kind of reward. It's some kind of cashback bonus. It's some kind of digital bonus. It is travel shares or something of that sort. If you look at uh, Delta Airlines, one of the largest ones that gives you points, you can actually trade that for dollars. It, it doesn't trade for a lot, but it is something very coveted. Who takes out their cards and says, this is the one I'm gonna use for this purpose, I either want my cash back or maybe I want my Delta miles. I want my Alaska miles. I want, you know, all of those things tend to be something that's in the forefront of our consciousness about how we're going to use our cards. So when we looked at putting the card at the end of the stream of an exchange, I really was not into the markets. I did not hear about the new Bitcoin. I did not know about the digital markets. And I said, get a young guy, get a young guy, because I don't know what you're talking about. I said, yeah, it makes sense. And uh, Wright was so patient that he would show me, I had called him for something else. And when I called him, he said, oh, I just stepped off the stage in Davos, Switzerland, at one of the international financial events, where he had given a speech about this new yeah. software and I thought, why did you take my call is what I really thought. But he told me about his need for a debit card. And he told me about the exchange and about these new markets. And he told me how to set up my wallets, very patiently explained all of this to me. And I kept saying, okay, that's great, but get a young guy. Um, after a certain amount of time, he said to me, well, I, I really need you to consider this. And here, I'm going to send you a Bitcoin. And I don't remember exactly what year this was, Billy, but he sent me a Bitcoin and I had already connected my wallets and I still didn't totally know how to work it, but I figured it out. And the Bitcoin was worth $38,000. Well, I thought I can figure this project out, <laughs> but it did take me about a year to research the markets look at everything that was going on in these digital markets. And after that time frame, comparing all the products that were out there, comparing all the types of digital rewards that were out there, I thought, oh my glory, these young people are just geniuses coming up with all of this. And this is going to travel the entire globe is the reason I came out of retirement to do this project. Now, with that, I will say this, over the last several years, you have seen some people dabbling in sides of their own companies where they shouldn't have been. Sam Bankman fried has great hair, but he was a crook. And that happens in any business. What people won't tell you about the fraud that you've seen in the news is that if you look at the total fraud, most of it still happens in the US dollar, and that of about 
you know, like I don't know what the number is anymore, but out of that number is probably 1% of it is crypto. But what I did not see, I don't see this market stopping. I see this also being an inclusive market. As a traditional banker, we try to exclude people. Oh, we don't want that guy over there because of his credit score. We don't want this guy over here because his debt ratio is too high. And we have a number of things to scale down to, to say, yes, this is the client we want to take. With digital rewards, we will be able to have people participate using our digital widgets as merchants, using the um, switch token as a method to trade with other people, using just their telephones. And I can tell you, I was in Kenya last year where I ran into a little marketplace. The people had certainly put up this marketplace themselves. They had built it and everything. And plenty of people go through there. My A lot of my friends have said, get your product to places like that. Because with a telephone, this person would be able to run their business. And I don't want to carry a lot of cash when I'm outside of the country. So what we're doing with Switch, and uh, Billy was looking for his card. I have one. It says VIP member on it. And this is just come there. Billy has got his. It's just coming out of the closed beta. And we're going to a larger beta. We're trying to make sure that all the bugs are out. But we'll be inviting more and more people to the beta to get their cards. And we'll have more than one type of cards. If you want the Onyx card or the premium one, it will bring down your cost to trade and other things. It'll give you other benefits. The, we'll also have some digital cards that won't cost quite as much, but you'll have the opportunity to participate in the card. And then that gives you the opportunity, as the video was explaining, to move from your wallet, your digital rewards, turn them into fiat or cash and spend them. And we never suggest you keep a lot in your custodial wallet until you're ready to spend it. And we always say, depending on what your crypto wallet is, remember, we have no access. And people like Sam Bateman Freed had access to both sides of those people's money. Brian Rhodes is a douchebag. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Brian, could you uh, mute everybody, please? I did. Thank you. And so... Um, I don't know what your level of um, information or education is, but again, I did take about a year to go through all of this. And then I was firmly convinced that this is another project that I wanted to take on. This is another opportunity that I did not want to miss. I was scared to death to leave Sears Roebuck and Company, which was a very stable company at that time, and go to a subsidiary. And they were so warm and welcoming and uh, at Sears that they would very gently tell you in that Midwest kind of a way, go over there and start that company, make money in three to five years, don't come back because we don't have a job for you. It was, not, it was not, not going to be an easy task. And I think most of us stayed up about three years and, and got it running. It took three years prior to that to get it going. So as Billy said, it's not an overnight thing. I just heard a podcast today from a company similar to Switch that started in about 2015, and they've just now gotten to the point of making a profit. So you've heard a little bit about the difference between the company and about uh, the actual Switch, the token, as you heard about on the videos. But the company, Brad Wilden and I are the people behind the company, and Brad has about 20, 25 years in commercial banking, some of it in business banking and others. I was more on the consumer side with the credit card. And uh, we have a very big bench team. Behind him is an EVP named Jay Anderton, who has been in more startups and other banking related kind of areas. And your bench is important, having folks that really know. So, you know, initially I thought, uh, am I too late to try this? And I guarantee that you're never too late to try anything. I often convince myself that you're never too late because 
I don't think God called Moses to go get the people from Israel until he was 70 years old. I think that Colonel Sanders started the um, uh, chicken franchise at about 64, 65 years old. KFC. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't remember. I obviously I I try to stay away from there. <laughs> I and, love some KFC. And um, there is no age. I thought I will go and market this to a certain group, and it turned out not to be true. I had a uh, acquaintance that asked me now, you know, because I would say every morning after we'd walk, I've got to go to work. I've got to get. To, he's like, "What do you do?" So I started to explain it, and he said, "I want to participate." He bought three nodes. He's 80 years old when he bought those nodes. He understood the concept. I have a sister who was in her 60s said, yep, I want to participate. So it is not something that I initially where I thought this is 18 to 34 years old. And Billy doesn't tell you that, you know, the first day I met Billy, I saddled up beside him and said, hey, I need your help. And I don't do that often if it's the first day that I meet you. But that first year when we were selling notes, I don't, I, Billy made a substantial amount of money. However, he bought nodes with 100% of it, turned right back around and bought switch nodes with 100% of what he made that year. And that was like an October to December kind of time frame. The way that we continue to expand switch is by various products. So we have an NFT voucher that allows you to move things a little easier than if you're just using a plain credit card. Sometimes the credit card companies are behind what can go on that card and what can't. So we've made some products that are a little easier there. We also just signed a test for high risk products. And so I have never been in... Uh, uh, a CBD uh, office or a store. I did um, at one point, I was thought I'll go to the corner store in my hometown and I'll pick up some flour to make some cookies. And when I got there, I thought, boy, this really looks different. And it was a cannabis store. And I'm like, oh, well, I can't get the, the flour here. I was just in Washington, D.C. And it said something like sweet leaf. And I thought I'll walk over there and see if I can test with them. And it was a restaurant. So, you know, we have one candidate that we're testing with medical supplies and CBD right now that Visa has approved for higher risk products, which sometimes are in the educational realm. Sometimes they're in uh, the realm of um, some medical supplies or vitamins and that kind of thing. So we're building out something that will be used and will be helpful to a myriad of clients and Last week, we signed a new vendor. You're getting this news ahead of the rest of the world, even the rest of the companies that we work with. And that company is called Vault. Vault has uh, more of a global footprint. And in that global footprint, what they've done is put three providers for every kind of card product they have. So they'll have two international providers and one local provider. And that is basically because of the regulatory environment that continues to be developing in this kind of product. In the United States, we have been slower to adopt these. I haven't called Joe Biden yet, but I'm tempted. And he would remember me from Delaware if I did call him. But the Congress has uh, kind of ignored this. I'm not afraid of regulation. None of us are afraid of regulation. If we can follow banking regulations, we can follow anything else they think up in crypto. But know that entire countries are adopting this digital system and they are adopting it at a much faster rate than we are here in the United States. Our next moves will be to take advantage of that and sweep the European continents, other continents as Vault adds them. And so after that, we'll add other products, debit cards with a full bank account, credit cards in the future, Basically, we're going to disrupt banking. We're going to give the opportunity for digital rewards to be used across every spectrum that you would normally go to your normal bank from. So with that, I'm going to be quiet. I like to uh, listen a little bit more than I talk. Uh, Billy, do we have opportunity for questions? Yeah, we do. Um, let's talk just a little bit. Let's you and I chit chat just like uh 
we we're doing a little conversation just to kind of fill them in on some blanks. How's that? That way we can fill in some blanks. So um, when Kathy and I locked arms three and a half years ago, one of the reasons I was so attracted to this project blockchain, remember I told you guys I only bought 11 uh, nodes into Gala. The reason I only bought 11 nodes into Gala because I wasn't a gamer. But then when, when I heard about banking, everybody wants to be a little bit of a partner in a bank, right? Anybody I know, uh, and it all rises and falls in leadership. So Kathy, obviously being who she is, she mentioned Brad. Brad ran the 13th largest regional bank in America. Uh, he was one of the top guys there. That group alone made it very attractive to me. Then Kathy started telling me, and I'll fill in a little bit of the blanks here with her, is it's going to be the first one with the debit card. All right, that's great. Number two, she's like, hey, this is kind of what we envision of really changing it. If you guys email right now, let me tell you some of the reasons I feel like Switch is just a, a no-brainer for you guys. Because a lot of you guys on here have not got a Switch node. And Kathy talks a little bit about why or, or I, I worked really, really hard with Kathy. I think the most I've worked in a long time when we were launching this project and I was, like she said, I don't want to say the number, I, I don't want to brag, but I was making a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money. And every time, like Kathy said, I just bought more nodes, more nodes, more nodes, because I believe that much in this project. And, and where I didn't do that with Gala and I made a lot of money over here, I knew this is going to be the future because so it, because when I started this whole uh, uh, uh Zoom tonight, I said the people that make the most money are the people solving the biggest problems. One of the biggest, two of the biggest problems that Switch solves is if you have a problem with Binance, you have a problem with Coinbase, you email them. <laughs> How long does it take to get back with you? Maybe never. A week, two weeks, <laughs> a month, whatever it is. Kathy uh, has, has really hasn't talked this much about uh, that what she did at Discover before she became the CEO. But uh, one of the things, and I'll, I'll fill in the blanks and tell you guys, she ran Discover, uh, she ran the uh, customer service department. She took that from a no name bank to be in the number one customer service bank in the world. So when she looked at what was going on in the crypto world, Kathy, let me pat you on the back a little bit. Uh, okay. And I got chill bumped when I heard about this. She goes, We need to have the first live customer service on the blockchain and i was like whoa i got chill bumps again just now because if you've been in this space well most of you guys haven't but some of you guys have probably been on here uh, a while i've been in this crypto space now for eight and a half years can you imagine the problems and the headaches when you're just learning to, to navigate maybe you guys are feeling that pain right now maybe you guys are using uh some of these other banking platforms and you can't ever get a customer service imagine if you had a live customer service person get back to you within 24 hours it already exists because kathy's already implemented that in switch and then they've taken that and now they're implementing it into connect united where you guys are all participating that is kathy's mastermind one of the other big things that was really really exciting to me was if you order crypto right now on Coinbase, Binance, or any of the other things, it will tell you your Coinbase or your, your crypto is ready for trade, which means they're not going to allow you to pull it off their platform. They're using that for other reasons on the backside. But with Switch, if you order your crypto before 2 o'clock, usually on the, the same banking day, after 2 o'clock that same day, you're able to, to get your crypto and you're able to offboard it anywhere you want. Correct, Kathy? That's correct. And I just did a test myself. I bought maybe $200 worth of um, Bitcoin on MoonPay because yep. I'm using them as a comparable. It took me 18 hours. I was so I was tired. <laughs> and I, I, I did run call centers for a long time before I became the president of the bank. And we were open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days. I spent most of my holidays with uh, everyone at the call centers and had a lot of Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners there. But not having customer service would have driven me insane. And don't get me wrong, customer service is expensive, but we have included it in our product at Switch because it's deserved by the client. Um, and we have very, very good people. We have a lot of different ways for you to get a hold of us, whether it's Zendesk, email, or, and if we need to do a Zoom or whatever, because sometimes 
there are things that are complex. If we need white glove service for someone, we have that. Yep, absolutely. And, and she mentioned a guy's name. I want you guys to understand. She mentioned another guy's name. I want to highlight real quick because this guy for the last couple of years, we've I've grown to be a really good buddy and he helps me onboard a lot of you guys without you guys even knowing it. His name's Jay, Jay Anderton and he is an absolute stud. This guy bends over backwards. He never complains about anything. And, and he's a true banker on, he's our true inside banker guy. Uh, I have a lot of high, high end profile guys that bring in a lot of money, big, big, big uh, wires uh, from a hundred K to $5 million. So I have some clients that really bring in a big chunks and Jay is the guy on the backside. that's always there, always answering, no matter what, 20 things going on. He's always, how can I help you with a smile? So we have an, a star studded team behind Kathy, beside Kathy, whatever you want to call it, that is absolutely making this a uh, dream of reality. And, and Kathy mentioned just a, briefly on this, Kathy, can you elaborate a little bit, maybe, or maybe not uh, a little bit about the future of, of switch. Uh, I know that you and I have spoke a little bit about possibly, and if it's still not true, I'm putting you on the spot here a little bit. So if it's not, oops, I'm sorry, but possibly either in the future, painting the picture what switch could be able to be marching down maybe mortgages maybe barring against your crypto what are some of the things that we can look forward to with switch yes absolutely we have um started is is not widespread with a couple of vendors to help us on debt pro projects and we would hope that when you go into your lamborghini dealership and want to spend your money that you'd be able to do it with switch or some other digital <clears throat> kind of rewards. So we will be going to merchants. Uh, and this has not been on our 2024 list. It was pushed out a little further, but we're starting to find that we have partners that can help us with that. We haven't gotten all the way to the mortgages. And in the cases where uh, we are talking about the larger items, they are just wanting to see Bitcoin so far. But the instruments to do that, to either borrow against your um, uh, digital rewards or obtain debt with your digital rewards is also something we're, we're working on. As we signed Vault last week, they also have credit instruments, not just debit and prepaid. So the first one is a, that we're coming out with is a prepaid. The previous years we had done the debit card, but that was only in the United States. And so when the FDIC squeezed all the banks, there was some fear in operating, even though they never saw an instance of any digital rewards, they always saw it after it was cash. Uh, basically, the FDIC scared most of the banks away from that. So uh, with Vault, we'll have going into this, the prepaid card, next would be the debit card, and then will be some kind of actual credit card and then we'll be working towards other kinds of debt instruments, whether they be for your car, your boat, your uh, home, but again, disruption of banking. So guys, like Kathy said, the and, and the way to, to participate, let's talk about the ways that you can participate and help um, add value to the network. Uh, one of the ways, obviously, the ways that uh, most people know me is selling software nodes. That is what I've known for, I, I, I'm the, as they call the node guy, I own the domain, the node guy, uh, king of nodes, software nodes, you name it. That's what I've been doing now for a long time, six years plus doing this industry. Uh, but the other way to participate is going to switchrewardcard.com and, and I'll go ahead and, um, Kathy, what, what's on the site right now? They just go in there and, and sign up. If, for you, if you go on that site, scroll all the way down. I've asked Jay to make a new banner to make it more obvious, but scroll all the way down. And he's the one who told me I have to use two fingers to scroll down, uh, down to the bottom where you see the wait list until they put a bigger banner on there. If you haven't, uh, if you don't already have a card from the last issuer, then you'll want to be on the wait list for a card. And since we're in the open beta, that list is going to grow uh, larger very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. So you'll want to be on the wait list, scroll down, Add your name to the wait list, open your Switch wallet, which is free, and uh, then you'll be on the wait list for the card. And I think the other thing that you want to do, I think there is a note 
on one of these. I can't catch everything as you're going by on the questions, but there was a question about the switch light nodes in there somewhere. And I can't remember exactly who put that up there, but the switch light nodes were taken off uh, for sale for some time. They're, they, they are a fraction of what the uh, smart node does. But if for some reason you haven't entered into uh, getting these digital rewards yet, if you haven't done that, the switch light node is a great way to just whet your appetite and watch what happens. Now, you won't get a lot of digital switch that way. You'll get one here or there as far as the distribution, but you will see that you can put a light node on your computer. It won't take much computing power away from you, and uh, it will allow you to see what how the distribution works. I think a light node is about one to one 256th of a, a smart node and that changes over time. It becomes less and less valuable. But Brian and Billy, I so appreciate right. your having me on tonight. I'll get you a sign on where anyone who wants to have a switch light node can have one for free. And uh, there's a couple of ways to do that. And I'll send you a, uh, a, a QR code or a I met Kathy code. And anybody who wants to download a switch light, light note can do that. And uh, one thing we're going to throw in here that I mean, I'm just going to throw out to Kathy. Um, a lot of you guys are on here fairly new. I know that most of you guys, probably 99% of you do not own a switch node. I know the price of the switch note is the most yes. expensive under our umbrella that we have. And it's roughly about 9,000. Can you thank you? I got um, one of the things, uh, Kathy, um, confirm. We're just, I'm just going to do an on the spot promo here, real quick. If you guys, if somebody on this Zoom right here tonight buys a switch node, anybody that buys a switch node, Kathy, what do you think about this? Anybody that buys a switch node tonight from this Zoom and they can show me, you guys uh, just send it to me on my Instagram, Billy W O, Billy W O. If you send me a confirmation that you bought a switch note tonight, no matter who team you're on, Brian, we have a lot of different teams. It doesn't matter which team you're on. If you buy a switch note tonight, we're going to bump you to that next VIP group that gets a card. How, how about that, Kathy? Can we move just the people up there and put them to the top and have them be, uh, get a uh, VIP card? On the next round? Absolutely. There will be a charge for the VIP card. I'm not sure, sure if they've finalized how much is going to be. If you had a card before, you won't have a charge. But right. uh, we'll get you to the top of the list. Just send me the list, and uh, we'll make sure that everybody on the list is bumped up higher. We've all paid four ninety five, give or take. I don't remember. Oh, I think it was five ninety five. I don't remember exactly what we paid. But there is a cost for the card. The reason there's a cost for the card, number one, there's cost involved. Number two, you're also getting, when you sign up and get the black card like we have, you also, every time you move your crypto from any of these other blockchains that we're working on and you sell it and you, you move it over to your bank or whatever you want to do with it, you get cheaper rates than the average person just going to switch reward card. So that's, there's a lot of benefits of owning this card. And, and since you're in our ecosystem and you you guys are buying nodes, most of you guys are already own, node owners or you're buying nodes. So whether it's Galvin, Switch, Element, um, Grow, any of these nodes, when you create those digital rewards, how do you off ramp them? Well, all of those all of those brands will be listed on the Switch network. Matter of fact, a lot of the first ones are going through the process right now. If you don't see them in Switch's back office, that's because they're being applied for uh, by our, our banking partner on the back end. And very soon they'll be showing up back there. So when these start hitting exchanges, we are an exchange. We want you to use our platform. We want you to off ramp there. But only one of these cards will give you discounted rates uh, on top of what uh, everybody else is getting. Correct, Kathy? That's right. The, the, the highest value card is the one I would go for um, just because, for example, some of the action points that we put in there, the more you use the card, you also get switch rewards for, for usage on the card above and beyond what you're might be being produced on your smart or your light note. So there are certain actions that will define that you can use on that card that will get you uh, more switch. 
And if you spend, we and, and I don't know what they've set the spin level at, but I think two thousand dollars a day at the moment. Uh, yeah, but if if you spend, I think for the year, oh, uh, okay. it, it's about twenty or thirty or something of that sort. And of course, depending on where you shop, that's pretty easy to do. Um, if you spend that, there won't be a, a renewal fee. And the other thing that we've developed is paying some of your fees with Switch. Uh, so we want there to be utility for switch. And if you want to hold it, that's great. But if you want to spend it and you want to use it on some of the fees that you would normally pay to pay down on your card, you'll be able to use it that way. And every day we're working on new ways for you to use your switch. I know I'm extremely happy. I still get a lot of switch every day from all the nodes. Uh, you know, when you find a blockchain that you really believe in, you find the leadership, you know that the utility is going to make a difference in the world. As as a veteran in this industry and a veteran definitely on this, or a founder and a frontier uh, on this on, on this platform, I will tell you, find a, pr a project and, and don't worry that, and a lot of people like, well, the switch nodes are the most expensive ones you see. What you guys don't understand, or most of you guys probably don't understand, I've explained it a couple of times on a couple other things is, the really cool part is my gala nodes right now that I bought four years ago. I spent 11, 11 grand. I've made over 11 million, but they're still paying me. Those 11 nodes are still paying me over $15,000 a month. Now, let Billy me try to off. buy those nodes again today. How yeah. much are they? 100,000 plus each. Yeah. So what we, Kathy just threw you guys a little nugget right there. These nodes that are $9,000 each right now, they may seem a little little much but what what you don't understand is those those nodes will max out at over twenty thousand twenty five thousand dollars number one but number two three years five years seven years down the road think of all the companies now that are going to find value we're taking on major corporations that are now coming on partners which because they want a, a good platform like this we've got pharmacies we've got we've got uh restaurants we've got all kinds of companies now partner up with switch every time there's a transaction on that blockchain. There's a gas fee. Those gas fees every day go into a bucket. And if you own a node, those go back to the, it doesn't go to Kathy. It doesn't go to the guys in the back end. All of those gas fees go into a bucket and they come back to the node owners. So that's what creates the longevity of these blockchains is every time there's a gas fee, they go back to the node owner. So you can rest assured as long as Switch is up and running and, 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 and kicking butt and bringing on new clients, you're going to start getting those distributions every day like we are, and it's going to be a wonderful thing. So that's that's. I just want to add that icing on the cake for you guys. This is a, a company, I, I call it a legacy company. Uh, most of ours are, but this is obviously one of my favorite. I, I think I, I do definitely have more switch nodes than any other platform I have, and it's not two or three. I'll tell you guys that. So it's, it, we've got a few of them. Uh, all right, what, what yeah, question... Yeah. I got a couple of questions. I'm yeah, going to chat. Um, so it, it's, and I watch videos on this too, but I, I see this in the chat. It, it's beneficial, right? For somebody that's in Connect United to go and set up an account for Switch. Doesn't matter yeah. if it's the same email or not. And then they have an actual referral link to refer people because there are benefits to refer people to Switch, right? There are, but as a Connect rep, you want your sales to come through Connect. Uh, but you know, for example, uh, before I got on this phone call, I just got a call from Wright. We're working on that referral and the way I understand it. So example, if you're able to refer cards, uh, people who want the card or other products outside of the nodes to refer them to switch, we're working on a way to reward you for doing that. It won't be through connect. Obviously it'll be back from us, but if you go to the airlines today, they're going to try to sell you their card, right? Uh, and so we're working on a referral process. And when I talked with Jay about this the other day, I said, can we use that same referral code that they have at Connect and reward the Connect client uh, who, who brought in a card? So we are working on that right now. You're absolutely right, Brian. Thanks for bringing that up. As we got the details all put together, then we'll get them out there. So, and also, is there a feature where I can just use like the tap part of it, like square? I, on the, this one I have, uh, let me see if there's a tap yes. on it. 
There is. Is it tapas on it? Okay. Nope. Yes, it is. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, it is. It is I on like there. That. Yeah, and and I I love that. I think that uh you know uh, necessary. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of invention, and since COVID, I think most cards do have the tap on there. Yep. Um, and then question. you'll be Who, able to use a digital one on your phone too. Does yep. rewards equal cash? When one lady asked that, does so, we, there's a little difference from an equal standpoint. You can't say right. it equals that. No, no. So what happens is when when these when these projects when these brands. The brand has nothing to do with the token. What I what I mean by that is the brand's job is to build the company, the community, which is all of us, which I'm a part of one of these groups. Our job is to get them on exchanges. There's a lot of criteria that comes along with that. I, I'd rather address that than Kathy personally. <laughs> so what happens is there's got to be certain criteria. We've got to have so many people in our, our signal groups. We're going to have so many people on our social medias. There's a lot of criteria. So we're going through those final stages right now. And I would guess in the next 90 days, um, switch element, Galvin, win and grow. All five of those should be launched into that sector, which is the exchanges. So one switch token, if it says three cents on the marketplace, it'll be worth three cents. If it says a nickel, 10 cents, 20 cents, whatever, <laughs> whatever it says, each switch uh, reward will be worth that amount. That's how that works. Thanks for bringing that up, Billy. And I'm not supposed to influence that. And so I yep. try. To I try to cut you off so I, you didn't have to. I try to stay in my lane. But it's yep. important to understand that when you get your distributions, we have nothing to do with that either. There is yep. a trustee in Switzerland that is tasked with making sure that's correct on a daily basis. And I cannot instruct them what to do. We have everything siloed in the correct way, the same way I would at the bank. I, I mentioned to somebody every quarter when I had to sign that uh, report back into the government, it was always this thick. And I would sit down very carefully and go through that. That's how detailed we're doing this business also. So I can't influence the token. I, I don't want to give you the impression that we will, but what we are doing on the company side is building a powerful and a great product for everyone to use. And okay. I do have a small goal. Um, and that goal is that switch would be a common name and we would like to have world domination. So you can help me with that. I can definitely see it being the greatest <laughs> card slash wallet. I mean, for on ramping and off ramping that fast, you know, I mean, you go buy a thousand dollars in Bitcoin and immediately move it to your non-custodial part and then move it to wherever you want. For most, everything holds your heard of. It's yeah, unheard of. It holds everything. And, and, and it will continue to change. But what we're dedicated to is continuing to improve on a regular basis. And yep. I, I keep seeing the same type of question about EFT POS attached to the switch card directly. And I, I I, I'm sorry. Tell me what that is again. Uh, I see one question. It's like, will Switch have a POS system? And <laughs> oh, okay. One. I did see that one. And we don't have a point of sale terminal, but we are uh, experiencing um, opportunities with our what we call our Switch Pay widget. And we are offering that to businesses that want to accept crypto. We have a line out there on the business side, and we do have business accounts at Switch. Um, where we're saying, you know, there's 420 million people on the planet who own uh, some kind of digital reward. It, doesn't your business want to take some kind of crypto? So we are advertising on the business side that uh, widget and maybe a QR code or something of that sort. So yes, we are going out to merchants on a regular basis and we may ask for help at that for that same kind of protocol also in the near future. Uh, as I said, we used to engage customers at Discover Card. You know, I would go into a little shop, maybe. Um, I can remember being in one in Salt Lake, and I picked out some things. And I, I'm a, I, my name is Kathy Roberts, and I'm a shopaholic. I might as well just admit that. So, mm -hmm. you know, when it, you're with a small merchant, and uh, at the end, she totaled it all up. It was, this had to be in the maybe the middle 90s, and it was $3,000. And I presented my Discover card. And she Kathy, said, well, can you speak briefly on, uh, so the widget, let's talk about that. We've yeah, got over 200 but, people right here on this right now. 
Um, Guess how fast they accepted the Discover card when they didn't. They accepted it before my transaction was done. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> There's there's somebody asking the widget that we did for Connect where we convert that to uh, a voucher, then NFT, then buy it. Is that going to be open? The question is, is that going to be open for other vendors to take yes. that into the business? Absolutely. We think that's going to be a large product. Uh, that and there are several other things that we're working on. Absolutely. That Great and question. then also the high uh, risk product. We're testing that right now. Dor Doris, I think that was your question. I hope we answered it for you there. Um, is there a referral program requiring accounts locally? Um, are you talking to business referrals? Uh, they're asking, is there a referral program acquiring accounts? That I'm assuming that's business accounts to get set up under the uh, switch umbrella. We're, we are working on that, yes. Yeah, there, there isn't one today, but there will be. We are working yeah, on in, that. In the future, correct. Mm -hmm. Brian, how do we apply for the card? You go to the website uh, and you apply All right down to the bottom. And yep. there'll be a wait list. Yep. And and uh, it will cost you between four and, and, and 500 bucks. I think I paid 500 for mine. We all pay for these. Um, uh, so to support the network and there are costs involved, but it also gets you off ramping discounts when you, when you go to cash out your crypto, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, uh, switch, whatever it is that you have as well. So you're definitely, gonna, and it pays you crypto back, which is switch rewards as you use it. So a lot of benefits to that. So it's not just getting a card. That's All correct. Right. You might note that, you know, uh, our regular rate, let's say you don't choose a card or anything, but you want to use our platform. It, it normally with most providers is going to be between seven and 12%. With the black card, it'll be 4%. So there that you gives you some comparables. Mm -hmm. And when you when you're off ramping as much crypto as I'm off ramping, <laughs> my big house I'm paying for it, as Kathy knows. Um that makes a difference. That three percent off six million bucks, you guys can do the math, it pays it pays the difference. So yes. Uh and then Sid, do you have to KYC to apply? Yes, you do. Yep. Good yeah. questions, guys. You guys are asking great questions. We've got Kathy for, ooh, for like two or three more minutes. Any other questions, real quick. We uh, don't expect the KYC to be horribly difficult on the first product. It is a uh, prepaid. And so we do expect about 98% approval uh, if that helps on the KYC. Yep. Uh, let's see. How does Switch differ from crypto? How does the Switch card differ from crypto.com card? Kathy, do you know crypto.com's card? Yes. I, I think I applied for that. I'm not sure that I ever got it because this was some time ago. So I applied for almost everything that was comparable. And by the time I got it, um, you know, I don't think I used it. So I can't tell you on crypto.com what that is. I can tell you this. We recent, uh, they have a lot of transactions. Last year, we uh, were pursuing another American bank. And I know they were pursuing the bank uh, also. And so they did get in with um, uh, this bank that is mostly Canadian and American. And uh, they do a really tough due diligence. So I'm assuming it, it's a good card, but I don't think that they have customer service that will compare to mine. Yes. Uh, yes. 18. They're asking, is there a minimum for the card? Yes. 18. You have to be at least 18 years old to apply for the card. <clears throat> can it be under a business or nonprofit? Great question. Um, you can put it under a business. Kathy, can you put it under a nonprofit the card? I don't see not, why not. I'll have to ask Jay that question and see if he if our new vendors prepared for that. So Good. let me get back to you on that. Uh, how long will it? Uh, how long till it reaches Australia? We got several people from Australia on here. Uh, we signed this vendor last week, and so I don't remember if Australia was on the list, but I'll find that out and get that back to you right away. Perfect, and we'll get back to you. Crypto.com requires 4K. I see. Okay, perfect. Uh, Crypto. Okay does not have, and crypto.com does not have rewards. They don't give you rewards back. We do Uh great chime in there. Courtney, appreciate that. Um, is there a minimum? Uh, one second. You guys are asking really good questions for Kathy. Very good questions. Right. Yes. Uh, is there a minimum age to ownership of a node? Yes, there is 18 years of old. Um, how, how long until it reaches? We just did that one. These are great questions, guys. You guys are really, you guys are really doing some good ones. All right. Any other questions real quick? Uh, if you could send up, all the list of questions, I'll get those over also to uh, Jay because it helps us every time you give us input to uh, improve what we're doing. 
Uh, don't forget to go to switchrewardcard.com and scroll down, sign on for the wait list and, uh, you know, start looking around that website. You can look at a lot of different things that have no cost, sell it through wallet, that type of thing and play on our website. So Jeff, Jeff's question is how much is the highest card value? What do you mean by that? Meaning uh, how much does it cost? It's I think it's five or 600 bucks to, to, to get the card. And then I think that right now, Kathy, correct me if I'm wrong on the old numbers. Was it, uh, you can tell me, tell me the numbers of, of the match use per day. Do you know that? I don't remember the, uh, don't, what the breakdown is. It was so much. If you did a direct deposit, you got a reward for that. And actually we're working on an improvement to that, uh, which would be in our next voting group. That's another reason I like to be a node owner as I want to be yep. able to vote on things. So we're thinking about adding to that list, but then it was, I can't remember what the amount was daily. Uh, if you spent, yeah. maybe it was 2000 or something of that. Sort I think of it was 2000. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, there are other actions uh, that you would get points on or a reward uh, on if for use of your card on a regular basis. Okay. Uh, what is the benefit of owning the switch token? What are the benefits of utility it has or will have? Uh, you know, the utility uh, could be in the use of paying down some of your, excuse me, paying, I've got what Billy had, paying uh -huh. down some of your fees <clears throat> to switch. But recently, we also met with a vendor that has over almost 800,000 different discounts. And we're working to bring that on to where you could utilize your switch for some of those discounts. There are a couple of companies out there that produce those kinds of things. And we've been working on it a while, but we, for, we finally found someone we think will work with us uh, so that you can use your switch. The example was uh, the Nikes that are so... Um, covet it and how much they normally cost. Well, by the time we utilized all the discounts, instead of it being 175, it was 83. So, um, you know, we, we're looking at a lot of different products, a lot of different ways for you to have utility of your switch rewards. And uh, we're also working with the ecosystem to see if you can use them in other places inside of these uh, impact companies. Um, Alex, and the other benefit <clears throat> to that is, when you're when you're a startup, obviously owning Switch. Why why did I own uh, hundreds of Switch nodes? I'm accumulating this because I believe in the future of Switch. Why did so many people get Amazon stock day one? Why did so many people get Google stock day one? Where where has Amazon and Google grown, and how much has that grown? Well, the the tokens we obviously can't tell you what future future growth will be, but in hopes, if, if we build this the right way, we add enough value into the marketplace, obviously that token hopefully will take off and do something and, and, and grow in, 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 um, and liquidity there. So that's what we're banking on. We can't, we can't advertise that. We're not trying to tell you, get this, you're going to get rich. That's not what we're saying, but that is why a lot of us buy the nodes so we can accumulate these rewards, but we can use those rewards, even if it doesn't, we're going to have ways that you can use those rewards. But in my hopes, I'm just doing a personal, I think we're, we're sitting on something very special. That's why we buy nodes on any of these projects is because future, we hope the future is bright for them. And we we hope that it's going to go to a bigger, a bigger, uh, a bigger audience is which is going to drive value. Uh, and I think Akil, if we can end on this one, he asked about the other, hey, how are you doing, brother, um, is... He asked about the different levels of cards. And when we come out a couple of years ago with the cards, we had one, I think that was $25, et cetera. We've concentrated on the black card or the Onyx card for right now, but we do plan on having digital only cards, especially with this new vendor that we've just signed. So there will be less cost, but your expense to trade, et cetera, would be higher. Perfect. Guys, these are great questions, but yeah, we're gonna time. Do time so much. The tech and cases, da, 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 da. there's so many questions. These are all great questions. We, <clears throat> I, I had to, I had to real Kathy in for an hour and uh, say, Kathy, I need you. Anytime I, I, I call Kathy, no matter what it is, I can remember being in Mexico a year, two years ago. I called Kathy. I was down doing a, a fund <laughs> event. Uh, when I say I have my own venture capital fund, I'm down in Mexico and I. 
I called Kathy. I won't tell her the rest of the details, Kathy, but I called Kathy and Kathy, and he, she knows she's laughing because she knows the details. But I called Kathy and she answers right away and she's like, I pick up when you call, you know, and she's <laughs> always been there for me, always answering the phone for me. We have, uh, uh, you know, we, we've done a lot together and I'm just thrilled and excited that you guys get to meet her and, and see the excitement that we both have in this project. And uh, it's very bright and we're excited that you guys join us in this and this and, and go sign up, use, stop using Coinbase, stop using all these other platforms. If you're part of our ecosystem, every time somebody comes in with me, I tell them, what is your on and off ramp? Whatever it is, cancel it. Go sign up for switchrewardcard.com. Set up an account there. Don't use any of these others because number one, you're going to be paying more on your fees. But number two, support your home team and Switch is our home team. So yeah. I advise all you guys to do the same thing. We want to watch uh, Switch take off. Go get you some Switch here in the next uh, month or two. Uh, we'll, 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 Kathy, when, do we know when we're going to have Switch listed on the exchange over there? I don't know. The next one, I don't know. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I know that some of my questions are a little bit. Yeah, one more question. What last is, one. Last one. What's the next step for people to get that light note? Uh, I'll have a code. I'll send that over to you, to you guys so that you can, I have it on a QR code okay. and uh, it'll say, this is what you need to do to get the light node. And there'll be another one that says, this is what you need to do to get your wallet. If you haven't already done that. Uh, there's also one that uh, if you send to Casey Nielsen and I'll send that to, into you an email because I don't have her email I have, I have all memorized. Of her. And if yeah. you just send her, say, I met Kathy uh, on an email and give her your email address and information, she'll get you signed up for a light note. So I'll send you both methods. And if you can get that out to this whole team, uh, then uh, they'll get you signed up for the light note and get you that license. You would just put it on your your PC or your, uh, I, I'm not, I think you could put it on your laptop too. It'll run in the background. It won't hurt anything or take any, uh, a lot of computing power away. It doesn't do what a smart node does, right. but I'd like for everybody to have one. Right. Yeah. Be cool. I'll awesome. just I get that QR code. I'll try to send it as many leaders as I can. I'm sure Billy will too. Great. And, uh, thank you everybody for getting on tonight. Get back with the person that invited you. Uh, we'll see you uh, Thursday night, nine o'clock Eastern. And yeah, thank you, Kathy, so much. We've been really excited to to hear from you and it's it's fantastic. So I'm, I'm congratulations, excited. everybody. All signed up. I'm ready to go. So <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Thank, thank you, Kathy. As All always. right. Goodbye. All right. Bye-bye.